Hey, what's going on guys? My name is George and this is SaaS Master. We're going to check out Get Astra, which is a security app that's going to protect your website. What's so cool about this? Well, let's just say we're going to block out everything that's not good. This is an overview of the dashboard, but be before we get started, let's check out their main page, which is this one right here, which is Astra, and you can check out their features. By the way, if you guys like this hovering Get Astra uh, logo right here, I'm going to leave in the description the HTML code to make it hover. Instead of just putting it on your website, we can make it hover just like that. Okay, so before I get started, I just want to say I don't work for Astra. This is an unbiased review. I am not obligated to say anything positive or uh, wrong about this software. So let's head over to the dashboard. Right now, I got connected one of my sites. But what's so important about this? My site is a classified ad site. I am not eBay, I'm not AliExpress, I'm not a huge site. So why is that important? Hackers tend to look for small businesses that are weak in security. Yes, so we are the target because we're easy target, but not so easy because I have Astra. You can see right here, my security logo is down here. Now this is optional, you can put it or not, but what this does is give the customers, your clients, the security sense that the website is secure. If I click on this logo, it's going to go to getastro.com and it's going to have my site. You can see right here, vendetoito.com. And you can see it passed on April 18th, which is today, 2019. So everything is healthy right here. And that's what it gives you that logo. So like I said, I'm an easy target, but with Astra, I'm covered. This is the dashboard I have right here. You can see by just having two days and a half, I've had 47 attacks. Now this is stressful for your hosting account. If you don't have a blocking software, I mean, it's just gonna saturate your hosting and it's gonna go down. But with Get Astra, that's gonna be blocked. So right now you can see we got 66 tests passed. We got XSS stopped, eight of them. Eight CSR RF stopped, ID stopped. Not sure what all these means, but man, these guys got stopped. And you can see where the origin of the attack was made. You can see right here, mainly China. Then we have other for United States, Germany, India, United Kingdom. This site is from Mexico. So um, if Mexico is not there, then yeah, it's blocking what it should be blocking. And let's head over to the next. We can see threats. Wh which are the threats that got blocked? These are the IP addresses. We can have that and it'll tell you what type of attack. You can see this is a bad bot. This is an XML version. And if we open one of these, we can see where it was from, what browser that we're using, and why this was suspicious. Suspicious bot scanner and fake Google bot and Bing bot. So we want to block all those. Now, right here, I got the option to whitelist this bad bot if I think this was a legit bot. Say, example, I registered my site in some new um, web browser or something like that. So let's whitelist it. If not, block it, trust it, or whitelist attack. So that's pretty cool to have. And you can see it got stopped. And you can see that we got next right here. And this is really awesome. You can see right here, add a custom rule. Example, like I said, my site is from Mexico. So let's just say any country that's not like a type form uh, typing. Let's just say like, like Chinese is really hard to write. Thailand is another one, uh, Arabic. So I want to cancel all those IPs. Let's just hit China, select it right here. And we can select to block or trust so right now i'm adding a rule to block all of china you can see china blocked by her Aguilar by notes added from thread table so anything that comes from china is just going to be blocked automatically so it's not going to cause stress on my hosting account and we have the exception list which is a positive that we trust so right now i got blocked china i'm going to take it off right now because i have to analyze if i want to do that or not malware scan Right now, it's it's scanning, so you're not going to see the results, but it's, it's scanning my files. And all you got to do is hit play. We can modify scan settings if we want. Email scan reports. Once it's done, you can see it's coming soon. And we can schedule daily. All this is also coming soon. And we also have login activi activity. So, for example, like I said, this is a classified ad site, so people are going to log in. They're going to create their username. And you can see right here. These two are successful. They're from Mexico. And these guys got blocked. This is from India and this is from Italy. So why did they get blocked? First off, they were using the username admin. Um, what person is using admin unless they want to hack you? 
and what person is going to go to this login page when that is not the login page so they get automatically automatically blocked this guy over here also going to wp-login.php which is not the login page so they get blocked automatically this is the login activity and then we have our settings here in the settings we have the extra protection we can turn on or off astro mode do we want it just monitoring or we want it blocking i set it to blocking and automatically if you want to do like a more in-depth and check it out by yourself farm yourself then you gotta do um, viewing sorry monitoring security level medium we got high medium and low it just depends embedded seal this is what we're going to get the code to set on our site this is the get astro code that you see over here but if you want it to hover, like I said, in the description is going to be the HTML code that you're going to use in your footer so you can make that thing hover. By the way, be um, on the look because I'm going to do some tutorial videos on how to do that and other things that you might want. Okay, allow foreign characters. Like I said, if, if like Chinese has a foreign character, if I don't want to do that, then it's off or on. Right now I have it off because I don't want them to allow it server credentials that's so they can do they can check it out for your, for themselves if something is going on they can check it out file upload rules that means we can set the maximum upload for example like i said i have a classified ad site i can set 10 megabytes as a as a max upload and we can block extensions let's say some extension that's harmful i can block it i don't want them to upload html files php files and all that kind of stuff and that's something i gotta add Add a member. If you are an agency, you can add a member. Now this is something cool that's gonna come soon, which is enable Slack notification. Slack is like a, a messaging app. So if something is going wrong or like there's like a mass attack, you want it to notify you, that's gonna be uh, available in the future. Email preferences also. Do you wanna get um, notified every day on what the overview was of the attacks, weekly or monthly or none at all? That just depends on you. And this is also so, something cool. You can add your GDRP compliant. You can see the layout right here. You can see how, how it's going to look. And you can see on the bottom of the site, it's actually giving me how it's going to look. It's classic edge position. Do I want it floating? So the block. We can do custom colors. They have some colors already, but we can do our own custom colors. Uh, learn more link and custom text. What does it want it to say? For example, my site is in Spanish. Maybe I want to do a custom so it so it says in Spanish. And dismiss button. What it's gonna say? I want to say okay. So that's updated, and you can see the button right down there. You can see it says okay, and we can set our own uh, policy link or use the one they give you. So that's pretty cool to have there. And other things that we find on Astra that nobody has is the community security. This is something really, really awesome that we have right here. So for example, we can tell the community to review our site and in exchange, we can give them a price. It could be money or just like a program. Um, let's see right here, edit program. I want to show you guys. So this is like a draft right here. It's company name, company um, address, website. And what do we want to do with this? So the program policy, I'm going to open that. This is what they got to sign up for. We can, we can customize this. We can write whatever we want. Scope. What are they going to look for? Is it going to be the main website or is it going to be another website? Rewards. Now there's something pretty cool that, that that's, uh, it came to my attention. You can, people can do this just out of love. Like they can go to a hall of fame. They, fix, they found a problem, they report it, and they go to the whole prank. Or we could get a cash prize. Merchandise, say, example, I sell t-shirts. They can get a free t-shirts just in case they find something. And other, just do whatever I want. And you can be, you can have reports of people who are looking at it, who's done. And since I, I don't have an active campaign right now on community security, it's not done. But that's pretty cool to have because if you want to be really secure, you want to know any vulnerability that you have. This is also an overview of the community. And just for last, support. This is pretty cool to have. You just open a support ticket, check our tickets, and search knowledge base, and you have all this information there. Now, if we want to switch sites, if we have another site, just click on this one. 
and this is another side I have. On this one you can see I have 31 attacks and they've been blocked successfully by Get Astra. Well, if you guys are interested in buying Get Astra, this is an overview of the app they have, the security thing, the security of our websites. If you're interested in buying this, the link is going to be in the description. And like I said, be in the lookout because there are going to be tutorials on this Get Astra. Thanks for watching, guys. My name is George from SASMaster. See you guys later.